god. Oh my god. I got 15 subscribers in one day, and I know I have to deliver some content to my 35 subscribers. Well, one is me, but 34 other people that watch me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. The first thing I'm going to say is this does not happen. Now we are we're doing a video on what if the Golden State Warriors won the NBA championship in 2016 NBA Finals. As you all know, this happened and made the, the my team, the Warriors, lose. Now, I'm going to tell you this with 100% sincerity. All because the Warriors are my team doesn't mean I'm going to be biased here. I am going to be a try as much as possible to be, you know, not biased. Now, I'm not saying I won't be. I feel like I'm going to try as much as possible to not be. And I feel like with what I came out, I definitely was, was not biased in this video at any moment. So let's get into it. The Warriors win, as you all know. Now let's go to the 2016 NBA off season. Here, Kevin Durant still goes to the Warriors in a signing trade deal. Uh, which, if you don't know what it is, in the National Basketball Association, NBA sign and, tra and trade deal is a type of transaction. A lot. You could go be the rest. I am not your English teacher or your tutor, your English tutor or anything like that. Let's get into it right the video. Now, the reason Kevin Durant still goes to the Warriors is because it's a secret I'm going to tell you later on in the video why he still goes to the Warriors, probably at the end of the video, so you all can still, you guys can, you know, just pass forward. I am not going to do a timestamp because I do not want to pass forward, but you're going to see the reason why by the end of the video. In a signing trade where Andre Iguodala is sent packing, I'm back. I was actually checking the Andrew Goddard tribute video. That's not too awesome things to do. Let's continue into the video. Now, Russell Westbrook has Andre Iguodala, which means Russ and Iguodala in the OKC Thunder. Now, what I mean is Kevin Durant is going to be nice to the Golden State Warriors to let him to let them know that he's going and they should do a sign and trade and get Andre Dalla, which they will do. Now, another thing that's going to happen this offseason, LeBron James goes to the Celtics. And I'm not a Cleveland fan that's going to be on me. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? He didn't know who's not going to say on me. You have Kyrie that wants to leave, number one. And 
the Golden State Warriors, you just can't beat them. You just cannot beat them. You understand what I mean? So, like, yummy. Now, the Cleveland Cavaliers still keep the person doing the who has horrible dance moves. The Flat Earth Man, the 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 guy with the amazing shoes, which I really like, that actually fire, I fire. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is staying in Cleveland. I hope you enjoy that, Kyrie. You have yeah, you have terrible things, moves, Kyrie Irving. Terrible. Terrible dance music. Oh, they oh, must be so bad. Now let's go into the 2016-2017 NBA season. Russ still wins his MVP average is triple double, but he does not average 34 points. What was that? So 31 points per game. He averages about 27, 28 because he has sugar balls and drip dollar. Now, I know that does not seem like a very big move then, today, but then, Andrew Dallas was a beast. And the Golden State Warriors do go 67 and 15, which is number one seed. The Boston Celtics go 55 and 27, and they also become number one seed. And they play the Toronto Raptors in the Eastern Conference. And the Golden State Warriors play the San Antonio Spurs, and they both beat their teams. You guessed it, did, 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 didn't you? Yeah, mm, you did. Mm. And the Golden State Warriors win. Why? Because Isaiah Thomas, this is basically the same thing as Cleveland Cowboys. They have a better center. And definitely they're going to win. Because number one, Steph is actually going to win this year's finals MVP. Why? Because Steph is become the final MVP because he plays amazing. Like he bowls out and a triple double because he really wants to be a team like the Boston Celtics with a deep history. And another thing, another reason why they're gonna win is because. Steph is taller than Isaiah Thomas. And Steph is going to lock down Isaiah Thomas and the inside sorry, out in inside? No. In the I don't know what I'm saying. He's just gonna be just gonna, he's just gonna win finals MVP. Play amazing. Now, spam B souls that I want to argue with him because he just made a video like this recently. Spam him on his channel. I don't mean this kind of spam. I mean this kind of spamming. We just comment down some of his videos. You know them, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can. Mm -hmm. b -Souls in YouTube as b -Souls. Shout out to him. Make a content period. But he got this video entirely wrong. Entirely wrong. Now, another reason, that's the reason I'm actually gonna say that Kevin Durant is gonna try to go to State Warriors is because the Warriors did not pursue Durant as a result of losing the 2016 finals. They had already been looking at ways to add him to the roster well beforehand. The main reason that they even considered this is that Curry, Thompson, and Green were homegrown talents and were still under contract that gave them wiggle room. They were willing to give up Andre Udala, but the, the rise in salary cap avoided them this problem. Durant was also looking for a change of scenery, and the culture of the Gold of Warriors agreed with him. It's highly likely that he would have gone to the Warriors no matter what happened. He likes it, he likes it here. 